Hello, this is Eric Lyons, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Koji's tools to compare the genomes of human and chimp. If you want to do a whole genome analysis, the best tool to do it is SynMap. Now, SynMap will generate whole genome syntenic dot plots of any two genomes within the Koji system. So what you want to do is begin by searching for one of your genomes of interest. In this case, I'm going to type in the word human into the name box. And the first genome listed is for Homo sapiens, um, which has a genome size of about 3.1 gigabases. I'll go ahead and use this one. And then for the organism 2, I'm going to search for a chimp. And uh, we've got a papillomavirus, some mitochondria, and then the fourth one down is for pan troglodytes, um, which is going to be the chimp genome. And this comes in at about 3.2 gigabases. So if two genomes haven't been previously compared by SynMap, um, the analysis can take a while, as this is a very computationally intensive process involving blasting these two genomes together, identifying all collinear sets of putative homologous genes to identify syntenic regions, and so on and so forth. But if a previous analysis has been generated, the parameter set is listed down here at the bottom, and you can just go ahead and click on it. It'll configure your analysis, and just click the button Generate SynMap. And you'll be returned with a syntenic dot plot. Um, what this is is each genome laid out end-to-end -end along the two axes, on the y-axis, we have the chimp genome, and on the x-axis, we have the human genome. And each one of these horizontal or vertical black lines separates a chromosome along each one of these axes. And every single one of these little tiny gray dots represents a putative homologous gene that was identified during the initial BLAST comparison. Now, all of these results are fed into an algorithm to identify a collinear series of these, and when they're identified, they get colored, in this case, green, um, to identify syntenic regions. And so what you can see is that the majority of these chromosomes of these two um, animals are, have a collinear arrangement of genes. Um, but you can see that there are some um, differences. For example, if you take a look at this chromosome here, um, it looks like a large region has been flipped or inverted in one of these two chromosomes. And likewise, if you take a look at chromosome 2 in human, it appears to be a fusion um, one arm coming from this chromosome in chimp, and the other chromosome coming from over here. So um, now what this tool allows you to do is you can click on one of these comparisons in order to get a high resolution um, dot plot of just that pair of chromosomes. And if you mouse over this, when these crosshairs turn red, that means you're on top of one of these syntenic gene pairs. Information about that pair is up here on the, on the top left corner. This is a draggable box, so if the dot plot is really large, you can move it around. And these are links that will take you in to get information about those particular sequences. But if you actually click on one of these dots, it will take you into Koji's tool, Jivo, which allows you to compare these regions um, using a variety of sequence comparison algorithms, but it gives you a very high resolution analysis of these genomic regions. And so those two genes are being used to anchor our position within these two genomes. Um, and by default, it lets you take a look at an additional 50 KB of sequence upstream and downstream of these genes. Um, since these genomes are relatively large and the genes are relatively large, I'm going to uh, change this to take a look at um, half a megabase of sequence upstream and downstream for a total of about a megabase. And since these sequences are very similar to one another, there could be a lot of repetitive sequence um, that doesn't code for protein. So I'm going to make this analysis run a little faster by masking everything that doesn't code for protein in both of these sequences. Um, you have the ability to switch a variety of algorithms. BLAST-C is good for finding large blocks of, of conserved sequence, and a bunch of ways that we can change our visualization. And I'm just going to turn everything off. Um, this will make the analysis run a lot faster. And now. When the analysis is running, uh, these sequences are being extracted, they're being compared to one another, regions of identity are being found, and then the results are, are visualized. And so what we have is the human region up here on the top panel, the, the chimp region on the bottom panel. Each one of these little composite arrows represents a gene. The gray is the full extent of the gene model. These little yellow or green bars are coding sequence. And the blue stuff is untranslated messenger RNA. Um, these are usually UTRs. And for every region that's been identified as being similar in sequence, we get a little tiny pink block, which you can see stretched along the top here and down here. Um, you can click on these. 
and it will connect the region to sequence similarity between the two regions, or you can hold shift and click on one of them and it will highlight all of them. But what you can see here is that we have a very distinct collinear pattern of these regions of sequence similarity between these two genomes and that they overlap, of course, coding sequence uh, between these two. And so this is the hallmark of identifying two syntonic regions. And what you can see is that these two regions um, from chimp and human are almost identical with respect to one another. And so with that, I'd like to thank you for listening to this tutorial.